bunny. Another time, well, Mohammed will keep. JP. So I'm really needing to finish these um, I, I you know I, I did these holiday sketch giveaways with my art rep Felix comic art as many of you know and I have just not had any time uh, to work on them so I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to prioritize. So I finished my page for the day. There are other things I could be doing, but I promised to do this. And uh, I've gotten three done out of ten, so it, you know I have to get my button gear here. I'm trying to Google image, 
Electra here. Shorts, absurd, Sam Drack, hello, welcome. Turning out so hot. Next here. Mohammed, I did not get a tight deadline. I just get them done when I can. Um, ciao, Ed. Hey, Matt. Thanks, man. Things are going pretty well. I'm glad it's Friday. I worked really hard this week. I'm proud of myself, but I'm tired. Is her head too small? Also, I never know when I draw Electra, do I give her the curly hair or no? There we go. That's good enough to get started. Absurd. You know, I should be packing, but we don't actually move. We close on the house May 10th, and we don't start moving until our move date is until May 18th or something like that. One thing I like about these, um, one thing I really like about these sketch giveaways is they are, you know, obviously I'm doing them because I want to share my art with people, but I'm also doing them because 
Uh, no, I, that's, that's the reason why I do it. I want to share my art with people, and it's the holidays, and I love to do them. Um, but because they are free, it allows me to kind of flex in a way, if that makes sense. Pardon me. So you see how, like, I'm being really loose right now. Like, pardon me, really loose. Like, more loose than I'd be on, like, a commission that maybe somebody paid for. But here I'm able to kind of experiment and have fun with um, techniques that, you know, I normally would never even think to use. Now look at, I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm just going for it. Morning shorts. It's funny you should mention that. Let's do a little quick preview. <laughs> There's your answer. Oh, that's awesome, Mohammed. So glad. Happy Friday, Victor. Your Commission is now in Felix's hands and should be on its way to you shortly. Thanks, JP. Thanks, guys. Thanks, everyone. Wentos, um, I do have an editor. You know, they kind of tell me what I can and can't do. Originally, Beta Ray Bill was going, is like the current uh, weapon he was going to use. Because, you know, right now he's kind of like a no name battle axe. I was going to uh, have him use Yarnborn, which is the, you know, the, um, Sorry, I have to get in here with the details here. One sec. Um, so they were supposed to use Yarnborn. Or I was, we were going to use Yarnborn. Like, that was going to be the weapon that he had chosen. Um, but now, apparently Yarnborn is being used somewhere else now. So I, I had to, like, switch that, which I don't really care about. Most of these things are very uh, surface level. There was a, uh, a difficult, like, it was a tough, I mentioned this in the, um, in the uh, director's commentary of issue one, which is, you can uh, view in my, it's up, the video's up on my channel as a live stream that I did. Um, I did have to kind of write, we had to kind of explain why Beta Ray Bill was in his humanoid form in the prey arc of the current Thor book. Um, and it was just a mistake on editorial's part to let that through and you know it happens and there's a lot of books at Marvel so we had to write our way out of that one. 
which is totally okay. It, you know, it, it stunk that, you know, we had to write our way out of it, but it's just, mis you know, mistakes happen. So that was the biggest thing. Where this YouTube channel should just be me looking for my own art supplies. Awesome, Reza. I'm glad you're here. Hey, introvert. Hello, Brandon. Absurd, thank you. Brandon, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome.
Thanks, Victor. PB, my, my, I do do some, but I'm mostly just crazy packed. That's one down. Thank you. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks, CJB. Isn't that cool? They said, hey, how do you feel about um, us doing a you know cover based on that double page spread? And I was like, heck yeah. Thank you, Salmon. Kate Blue asks, what is your approach towards capturing facial expressions and emotions? Man, a lot goes into it. Um, it's always come kind of second nature to me, honestly, at least that part of drawing. Just like drawing emotions. It is really hard to do. I'd say the more focused you are on reference and like what a character looks like relative to the rest of the page um, can sometimes be a detractor. At least that's the case for me. Um, so don't worry too much about staying on model while you do it. That's, that's all I can say. People look really weird when um, they are crying or showing emotion. They don't look like themselves. They don't look like the stoic character, and there's a lot of room for forgive, forgive, like you know, the, the audience is gonna forgive you if if it doesn't look exactly like the person you're trying to draw. Look at these chunky legs. I'm into this. This person asked for a Dark Knight Returns Batman or any Batman, so I'm gonna kind of make my own here. Um, JP, I did finish my Green Arrow cover. Uh, I, I, I already sent it off. It's, uh, it's already done. Um, so, and I, I'm, I'm sorry, I did not take any videos 
of myself making it. It was a very intense process. I drew the Empire State Building and it was a not easy. So I was mostly like this anyway when I was doing it. Thrill Electra rock and roll. <laughs> Wentos, I am following New Japan. I'm a big Osprey fan. Let me tell you what I'm not a fan of, though. That friggin' title belt, the new one. Oh my goodness gracious me. I hate that new title belt. This Batman is looking really weird. Sorry, guys, I gotta get in here. Steven, that's a great idea to do a tour of the collection. I think what I'm going to do, my studio, it looks like a bomb went off right now. When I move and I get settled in my new place, I'm going to be able to really start devoting more time. Actually, who am I kidding? I'm going to be just as busy as I always am, except I will have just moved, so I won't know where anything is. But my point being is that it's a good idea, and I would love to do that. You know what I need? I need someone to come over here and edit all my videos that I want to make. <laughs> JP, awesome. Thank you for pre-ordering it. Hey, Claudio. Daniel, are you thinking of doing a wrestling book? A wrestling comic, I mean. And Mohammed says, oh, dude, Mohammed digs my black and white um, comic. Thank you so much, my black and white, my Batman black and white. Thank you, bro, for, for reading it. All right, so here I'll, I'll show you what I'm using right now. Sorry, I have to, like, get in like this because I'm drawing Batman so small. I'm using the Kuratake. Well, I don't even know what it's called. The, the eyelash pen that I went over with in my tools video. I've been using it all the time. I'm really into it. Um, highly recommend people check it out. It is definitely a useful tool. I know that I'm in your business right now when it comes to drawing in your space. I'm sorry. This is the only way that I know how to do this. Sorry about that. <laughs> I know that's obnoxious, but there's just like no other way for me to do it. I don't sit at the drawing board like that all the time. But for things like tiny Batman faces with little tiny brushes that are meant for painting literal eyelashes. Yeah, I gotta I gotta zoom in for that one. Sorry, I'm seeing my replay that I see on my iPad next to me is like, you know, a minute behind and it's really embarrassing. I'm sorry about that. Right. 
Keith. How do I say this? I don't want to give all my cards away. I'll do a little sketch for you. Nobody steal this design, okay? the eyes up a little bit. This guy is a character in my new book, and I'll leave you to decide what kind of book that is. Steven, I did find a house. We put an offer in on the house um, about a month ago, and we've been going through the mortgage process. Mortgage process is now all clear. We're clear to close. Officially got the word last week. And, um, yeah, now we just got to, you know, finalize the paperwork and sign a bunch of documents and get, like, home insurance and things like that. But for the most part, it's all ready to go, and we move in May 10th. <laughs> Brandon, right on. Introvert, can you recall previous times you found a new tool and it would show in your published work? Man, not, the, not off the top of my head. I've been using kind of the same stuff all the time. I will say I used the Pentel brush pen ex almost exclusively, really starting around the time that I really started uh, making Extremity. So before then, a lot of the a lot of the work that I was making was. Um, uh, was with a like a actual brush. So Just dropped all my tools on the floor. I'm gonna have to get into the detail again. Sorry, guys. Dom, I have not seen it yet because um, I think I'm going to wait till I can see it in the theater. So I'm waiting until my second vaccine shot and then I'm going to go see it in the theater. Thank you, Keith. 
I I can only imagine I can only imagine how much how much better I'm gonna feel after I move. <laughs> oh here, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm drawing this so tiny I didn't even think of you guys. I can zoom in a little more. Bye, Alan. Thanks for being here. Keith, uh, brush pen recommendations. Pentel Pocket Brush Pen. That's what I use a lot. Um, the uh, Pigment Brush Pen. This is also by Pentel. This is just called, this isn't the Pocket Brush Pen. This is just the Pentel Brush Pen. That's what this is called. With the gray uh, one. It's, it's like uh, waterproof ink. Start there. Those are the my favorites. Guto, I'm glad you've taken away some of them from. That's great. Um, all right, Brandon. Yeah, sure. Send me a DM. I'm not sure what having somebody, like having help with editing, would look like, but I'm all for, I'm all for that. Um, Beard Gasmatron, any possibility of releasing your image work, releasing your image work in oversized hardcovers? Extremity and Murder Falcon, probably not, because they don't make enough money just as normal trades. Um, that's not a good or bad thing, it just is what it is. And if they don't sell super well in trade paperback now, they're not going to sell well as nice hardcovers. Um, there may be a point in the future where we um, where we do like a Kickstarter for a where Skybound and I do a Kickstarter for the Extremity Artist Edition but that's I don't know I'm not sure that was in the works, but then the pandemic happened, and I'm not sure what's going on with that now. So, So that's the thing, Keith. The people who love Murder Falcon love it passionately. And it's so appreciated. There's a lot of people who just do not care. <laughs> uh, it's just Murder Falcon did not sell very well, unfortunately. Um, it's a bummer, but it, it is what it is, you know. I, it keeps it cool for the people, you know. I don't know. It is what it is. I'm not sad about it. It just is the way it is. Um, Keith, I'm, I'm glad that... Oh, man, I'm glad that that was fun. That was fun. I cannot wait to go see it. Guto, I did it. I did a um, variant cover for... Uh, Beta Ray Bill, that was uh, a homage to uh, Walt Simonson's famous Thor cover where he's breaking the logo. That's um, the Hall of Comics exclusive variant for issue one. You should check it out. I'm sure they're still in, in stock. Um, morning Shorts, man, what type of voice would your Beta Ray Bill have? That's a good question. I don't know. I always default to Peter Cullen. For all of my characters, but that's not... I don't know if that works. Thanks, absurd. <laughs> Dom, I've only drawn Invincible a few times for, like, commissions. Um, and it was really fun when I did it. 
but that's it. all over this thing. Riza, I'm using Strathmore 500. Uh, smooth paper plate surface. It's very expensive, but very worth it. PB, man, I'm really busy, but you can always send me an email. Or you can you can reach out through my contact info and I can let you know. Um, and uh, I will probably say no just because I don't have any time. But hey, send me an email and we can talk. Thanks, Mohammed. Shoot, Guto. No worries, man. That sounds really rough. I'm sorry about that.
friend just arrived and we are going to have dinner together. So I have to go. Um, I want to thank everybody for being here, for watching this stream. You guys are awesome. Thank you, as always, for the support. Um, I announced on Twitter, but Beta Ray Bill issue one has gone back for a second printing. And uh, couldn't have done it without you guys. Really appreciate it. And um, I don't know. It's amazing. It's amazing that we're at a second printing um, for Beta Ray friggin' Bill. That's crazy. Um, and issue two is going to drop um, last Wednesday of April. And when it does drop that weekend, we are going to do a, um, a live, again, another live director's commentary. And just figured this out. Mike Spicer is going to be joining us uh, live on the channel doing the director's commentary with us. One of the reasons that I wanted to have Mike Spicer on for issue two is because I feel like Mike has even leveled up more in his game from even from like issue one to issue two. I mean, it's just issue two is astounding how good it is. And I wanted to have him on, talk to him about some of his coloring process in the middle of it, allow him to talk about how he approaches colors in Beta Ray Bill and all of his books, I guess, but specifically Beta Ray Bill. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to have Mike on. Um, it's going to be a good time. And uh, the date and more details of that will be coming out soon. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Sorry I have to go just like that, but yeah. All right. I'm out of here. I'll see you guys later. Oh, dear. My studio is so messy. I'm literally tiptoeing to my computer and hitting.